Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to show you company provided accommodations while you are living overseas. So I will start with my Emirates accommodation. So while I was at Emirates, I had two accommodations. My first one was in a building in a place called Al Nada, which basically is on the I'm having a mental plank border basically on the border between Dubai and Sharjah which are two of the United Arab Emirates so um, this was my first building it is an old building it has closed down now but there is still Emirates accommodations in that area um, so I will try and find the video for you guys and upload it so you have an idea of what it is these apartments are very big they are Arabic style and I will say mine did not have a lot of natural light um, it was very dark and I had to put the lights on in the middle of the day. Um, but if I found a video, it's going to be playing here. My next apartment was one of the most like sought out apartments at Emirates. It is in Business Bay, walking distance of the Burj Khalifa and Dubai Mall and it is called Millennium Tower. The pool has a view of the Burj Khalifa and the gym is amazing. Um, so this is actually a very, very hard um, accommodation to get. So a lot of uh, the older buildings in Dubai are two or one bedroom. You're pretty much not going to get a one bedroom unless you're a cabin supervisor or a purser, um, but there is an option. Um, and a lot of the more modern buildings have three bedrooms. So I was extremely lucky. My entire time at Emirates, I did stay in two bedroom apartments. Um, and since I did move to Millennium Tower, I was even more lucky because there was only one two bedroom apartment on each floor. Finally, I have my accommodation in Korea, which I am currently in. Um, everyone gets their own, at least at my Hagwon, everyone gets their own apartment. Um, they are studio apartments um, and they're actually quite large for Korea. So if you are moving to Korea, I will be honest, expect small than this. Um, I will upload the video of my apartment when I moved in and I will upload the video of my apartment after I changed literally everything and threw everything out. Um, <laughs> um, I don't like to be a wasteful person, but after I'll be admit, after being a cabin crew, a bed is very, very important to me. I did not have a solid night's sleep sleeping in the original bed that I had in this apartment uh, for the first three months that I was stuck with that bed. Um, so for me, it's very important to be comfortable in my living space um, and have a nice place to go after work and relax. And So guys, I hope you liked the mini tours of uh, my apartments while living abroad. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it is somewhat useful to you. Um, if you guys want anything more specific, I obviously can't really give it to you about my old Ulnana uh, accommodation, but in terms of Dubai, my best friend, as I said, moved into my old room so I can send anything about that. Or if you're interested in my Korean apartment, I can show you a lot more. Um, Basically, if you are moving to Korea, all I will tell you right now is Kupang is your best friend. But <laughs> in Dubai, um, Ikea. That's probably it. Ikea and layovers. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and it will be helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching my channel and hopefully I will see you soon.